and welcome to this video on uh, Fermat's theorem and uh, first before we get to that we're gonna talk about two concepts which have a lot of applications in economics and in optimization and I'd argue probably the most important uh, at least lesson to learn because a lot of economic problems involve optimization so we're going to learn two things first, which I think are very crucial, and that concerns the local maximum and the local minimum. So, for example, say we have a function f, okay? Uh, a function f has what we call a local maximum value at a number c if there exists some open interval containing c on which that function is defined such that the function evaluated at c is greater than or equal to any uh, a value of the function evaluated at x in the intervals. How does that look like? So, for example, say we have a point here, which, is the, which you can notice the maximum over a range. Okay, so let this be point c. So in the interval, in this interval, okay, you'll notice that c, if I evaluate the function at c, so this one will be f c and this is greater than any point in the function so at a for example so this is at a then at b it's somewhere here so you'll notice that c is always higher than b or a uh, greater than or equal to so that's what a local maximum is and a local minimum functions in a very similar way so for example a function f has a local minimum or a local minimum value at the number uh, c again, so c uh, will denote c here, so c, c is here, on which uh, the function is defined, so in uh, it's defined such that uh, the function has values there, uh, such that the value of the function evaluated at c is less than or equal to at least all other potential values of x uh, evaluated to the function in that interval. So in this case, this is f of c. And you'll notice it is lower than the value of f of a and of f of b. So along that interval, it is the lowest value, or at least it's the least or equal to the lowest value. So in this regard, we correspond to those points as your local minimum, your local maximum values. So those two concepts factor in heavily to what we call as uh, Fermat's theorem. And Fermat's theorem states that if f has a local minimum or a local maximum at some value x star, okay, if it has some value there at x star, then if the function is differentiable at that point, okay, so if uh, the derivative f prime x star exists, then uh, the value of that derivative should be equal to zero, okay? In other words, okay, the tangents, this tangent here and this tangent here, to illustrate in our examples below, are horizontal. Hence, uh, the derivatives are equal to zero. So what does that mean? So notice in this function, uh, say we have this point here, and this point here represents our local minimum then the tangent line associated okay with that function so this one is x star okay the tangent line associated with that function is a flat line okay that's a flat line and what you'll notice is that the slope of a flat line is equal to zero and you'll find out that actually this is dy over dx equal to zero uh, we'll deal, we'll go into that uh, when we get to the first derivative tests and the applications later on. But essentially, the slope of that tangent line is zero, and it corresponds to an extremum value. In which case, this in this case, it's a local minimum. Uh, in this case, for example, now the other one with g of x, we have a point here, and this is x star. Okay, and again at the maximum point if i draw a tangent line the slope of that line is equal to zero which means that that derivative so this one f prime uh, g uh, f prime x star sorry is equal to zero similarly this is just another way of saying f prime x star equal to zero or dy dx equal to zero 
So that's Fermat's theorem. There are exceptions uh, such as if you cannot differentiate the function, but that's for another time. Then Fermat's theorem has a lot of applications on what we call, or what we'll begin to call, okay, critical values or critical numbers. And essentially, uh, that critical number is essentially what we have as x star. So in this case, okay, uh, this value of x star is a critical value. This one is also a critical value or a critical number. And that x star is a number in the domain of the function f. And if f prime is equal to zero, then x star, okay, is a critical number of the function. And we call that point, okay, a stationary point. And you'll notice that critical values have so much applications in economics as optimal values or uh, values that will minimize functions or maximize functions. So we'll get into that uh, when we get to economic applications. But the concept of critical numbers and stationary points are crucial. Okay, so if, uh, if uh, f has a local maximum or minimum at x star, then what we know is that x star is a critical number of f. Okay, so it's a critical number of f. So that's a brief discussion on uh, Fermat's theorem. And in the next video, we'll discuss the first derivative test and how to identify local um, extremums, which are local maximums and minimums in an actual example. Thank you for your attention.